Are you serious? Is your coffee good this morning? Are you serious? Well, I can tell you something right now. I can tell you something that's not very good, or at least it's got NASA and it's got the space weather and it's got a lot of people concerned, is what's going on right now on the sun. There is a solar filament that is huge, folks. Huge. Are you serious? Huge. This thing is gigantic. Uh, the solar filaments are dark lines or curves that sometimes appear in the sun, in pictures of the sun. These filaments are actually huge uh, arcs of plasma, which is electrified gas in the sun's atmosphere. They look dark because they're not as hot as the sun's surface behind them. Now, these filaments are held in place by powerful magnetic fields in the sun's atmosphere, and they usually appear above the sunspots, which are magnetically distributed uh, regions on the sun's surface. Now, the filaments can last for several days or sometimes up to months. Filaments are most common around the peak of the sunspot cycle, uh, when the sun's magnetic field is very active and explosive, solar storms are more frequent. So filaments are actually the same feature as another solar phenomenon. So folks, they are, they basically, if you see filaments, know that behind them are huge sun spots. And know that from sunspots can erupt mass ejections of coronal mass ejections, which can then put tons of pressure on the Earth's tectonic plates, which can trigger major earthquakes. Matter of fact, there is a, a guy on YouTube called Suspicious Observer who does a good job on some of this stuff. Let me just, here's what his comments are about this thing. Morning, folks. The incoming sunspot group of the northern hemisphere has sent some ejecta out into space the last day. They were fairly odd eruptive forms, and there was no Earth-directed component. Meanwhile, the top alert on our star remains this massive plasma filament. There was a significant surge through that filament yesterday, but it held on. Now Thank more God. than one million kilometers across. What? One million kilometers across the sun, a sun filament, which means there must be an enormous sunspots behind this thing that we can't see visibly, which always poses a major risk to Earth. And, and, and I'm just trying to tell you because you can fry the electrical, uh, you know, the electrical grids. You can have blackouts. We've seen it over the years. It can fry satellites. It can it can release powerful UV rays and radiation even. Uh, it can fry satellite communications, power grids, and what have you. There's no question the sun is becoming more volatile all the time, and thus the earth is becoming more violent all the time, which is exactly what the Bible says in the book of Genesis. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man, it wasn't only that men were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah went into the ark and God shut the door. But men's hearts were on evil continually. Every imagination of his heart was on wickedness and evil. We see that as well. But it says the earth was filled with violence. And so we are, we are beginning to comprehend that we're coming ever so closer to the coming of Jesus Christ, and yet people are still just going blindly into the world. You know, the, and, and it's all about getting people to Christ, and it's, it's recognizing the apocalyptic signs are around us. I mean, I can't even tell you how many dead birds, dead fish, and dead cows, and dead uh, mammals beasts of the field that are dying around the world at unbelievable, unprecedented numbers. And what about the extreme weather conditions? Look what's going on right now in the West Coast with downpouring rains and winds and even for in, in a 200-mile radius, a milky rain coming down, a dirty rain. 
Some say it's milky white like ash. Some say it's brownish. It's falling from the sky, yet there's not been any volcanoes uh, in, in the recent time that would have affected it. And it can't be from the Oregon forest fires of last year. So what is this strange dust mixing with rain coming down on Washington State and the flooding that's going on there? And then go to the East Coast for the third Sunday in a row. The Massachusetts area, Boston and the Massachusetts and New Hampshire and Maine and Northeast, just the Northeast in general, buried in another unbelievable extreme snow 14 day period they've had 80 inches of snow are you serious are you serious are you serious extreme weather patterns and then we had a volcano saturday massive eruption guatemala and there's sinkholes opening up at alarming rates across the world and the snow turned orange reddish in Russia earlier last week as if some type of space dust is now being filled. Is that what's causing the milky rain in Washington? We don't know yet. What's, what's going on? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And we had a great interview last night with Gil Brazard as he talked about Planet X or Nubiru or the Dwarf Star and all the scientific data and the fact that NASA was talking about it all the time until 1992. And then they went dead silent. And the scientist that was leading the, the uh, investigation and leading the uh, observation of Planet X mysteriously was found dead. And NASA has not spoke about it again. Yet all the, the data links back that some type of phenomenon has come by the Earth several times during biblical days, during the days of the flood during the days of Joshua's 24-hour day, during the time of Hezekiah's sundial going back 10 degrees or 10 steps, uh, during the days of Jonah uh, and, and Nineveh. I mean, I mean, it's happened and happened and happened. And now there are many that are wondering, is there going to be another near miss or close encounter? It's not that it's going to hit the earth. But what all does it bring with us? Because each time there's been a biblical event take place on the planet, some of them more apocalyptic than others, what does this all mean in the end times? Are you saved? Time is running out. And I, you're going to, this right now, I believe, is my 6,000th YouTube video in five years. I have almost been on five years. March 1st will be five years. And this is, I didn't even realize this. Somebody just let me know. Your next video is going to be 6,000. This is my 6,000th YouTube video online. And I can tell you, the progression of things that's happened in these short five years is unbelievable. Unbelievable passages of scriptures like the Arab Spring in Daniel or the, or the Babylon prophecy in Jeremiah or the Hosea prophecy with the dead birds, fish, and cattle, and the destruction of Damascus in Isaiah 17, and the, and the burden of Egypt in Isaiah 19. I mean, and on and on and on. Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, Revelation, all throughout the Bible is being fulfilled before your very eyes. Are you saved? Time is running out.